Speeding down the track at about 70 miles per hour, you better make sure to stay out of the way. Trains can't stop for more than a mile, especially when they're going fast. The size and speed of trains has always interested me. Trains carry goods for us ship and ship them around the U.S. As a locomotive engineer, I have to learn to obey the dispatcher and learn the signal code to control the tracks and communicate with coworkers. The engineer is not in control of the tracks, though, but in charge of driving the train. He is focused on driving the train from point A to point B. And researching for this career unit allowed me to find three jobs that I was interested in. My first, second, and third choices were locomotive engineer, airline pilot, and being a truck driver. I chose locomotive engineer because I had always been interested in trains. Um, truck driver is considered my opportunity cost because now I'm more interested in trains. So I gave up the other choices so I could have my dream job as a locomotive engineer. I'll be spending less, some negative um, incentives will be I will be spending less and less time with my family due to long hours traveling on the train. Another negative incentive is that there are very few locomotive engineer jobs out there, so it's hard to find employment. The final negative incentive is that there's a possibility you could kill somebody when they're stuck on the track or racing the train. Three positive incentives would be working with trains, traveling and seeing the country, and you have the opportunity to meet people all across the U.S. This gives me the chance to meet people where I haven't gone before. It is my dream to work with trains and to travel into the country is also positive because we just want to see the country. My monthly paycheck is four thousand and yearly is forty eight thousand. I'm living in a one bedroom duplex by myself, so my housing costs me four hundred and fifty. Transportation is five hundred, my <coughs> tools are one hundred and twenty, taxes are five hundred and twenty one. Food is 400, medical is 200, school loans are $86.72, and toiletries are $25. One interesting highlight was that my estimates were way off. My current estimate was closer, and my rationale was that I didn't have to go out and buy a washer and dryer because it was included in the duplex. I will buy myself used furniture, which will save me money, and I'll have no plans to also save money. I'll also eat out often because I don't like cooking. These are my trade-offs because I would really like nice things and pets. But I wouldn't but I would also like to make sure that I am not spending too much money on things that are not needed. And I would have uh, I can't have nice things that are still used and I would not be home very much to take care of a pet anyway. Eating out is also a trade-off because I wouldn't have to cook. And when I am in between shifts of switching tracks and trains, I could just go and grab food. I will be informing you about my resume. When I went to Johnson County Community College, I learned a lot from that college and got an associate's degree in railroad operations. I earned my degree in May of 2023. I currently am working as a switchman apprentice for BNSF. I'm also applying for a job as a locomotive engineer for BNSF. I also worked at El Cerrito during high school, and the skills I have learned on the job are operation monitoring, equipment managing, and good communication and good fo direction following skills. The people that I have as references include Peter Joseph, he is my manager at BNSF as a switchman. The other reference I have is Paul Smith, he is, who is a manager at El Cerrito. I wrote my letter of application to Peter Joseph, who is the manager at BNSF. I wrote to him to apply for a job as an engineer. I have switching and apprentice skills, switching the track, and which I obtained as, while working at BNSF. I am wanting to move to Newton to be centered and to hopefully become an engineer for the BNSF railway. I've always been impressed with the BNSF company and how they take pride in their work and their customers. They also get things done quick. These are the websites I use for my project. www.amtrack.com 
www.bnsf.com, www.blns.gov, and Crew Insight in Alberta, and CrewLeader.com. My pie chart wasn't in here, I'm not sure where it is, but um, I know that my taxes were really high. Um, my toiletries were 1%. And my or my <coughs> my toiletries one percent, and I can't think of the others. Oh, right here. <laughs> um, taxes are a lot, twenty four percent. Discretionary is twenty one percent. Toiletries are one percent. Utilities and food ten and six percent. Transportation is nineteen percent, and housing is twelve percent. Uh, in conclusion, the BNSF locomotive engineer job is a, is a job that I am interested in and will possibly be my future career. This research, ha research has influenced my career for later on. Thank you and thank you for listening to my speech and hopefully I will, you will see me driving the train someday. Any questions?